hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. With my name, come up, respect it. And today on Shay Too Sweet Reacts, we're going to be reacting to Bill Burr. What? Guilt. What? Guilt. Uh, links for the original creator will be down below. I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So, let's jump into it. I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they gonna make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. <laughs> you know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? <laughs> no, it's like those movies. They started off unbelievable. Started off with Roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil, okay? Please. Please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They're still hitting them. Fuck! Turn the channel. <laughs> this is gonna be on all week? Jesus Christ, turn the channel. <laughs> I still have not seen Roots. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I, 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 you know, TLDR on that one. I still haven't watched that movie. Um, I, I, I can't watch it. I just, I can't watch it. I, I, I got it. I don't want to watch it. It's, it's not my cup of tea. I know, I know that it's just like, well, every person needs to watch it. I, I saw so many documentaries around it. I don't want to watch it. I'm being, I'm being dead serious. Y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. The 80s, there was like a football movie, then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. I remember, I remember that, that movie, yeah. And now it's all the way down to swimming, and I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. <laughs> Plus, I've been in pools, there's been black people in the pool, you know? I never saw any white guy like trying to like fucking like prevent people <laughs> from getting into the pool. <laughs> It's like, are they just like making this shit up? I'm not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? <laughs> just to clarify, you know, I just don't want anybody coming up to me after the show like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it, and then... <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't think black shit people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying... These movies, like the characters aren't even believable. Like, they always have to have, like, that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's the guy, like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> he's got, like, a big vein in his forehead. He just screamed and shit, look, not even looking around. <laughs> dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. Facts. It's subtle. People Facts. look around first. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure the, you know, to make sure the coast is clear. Yeah, very true, very true, very true. I'm gonna say this because, like, I like I know a lot of people be like, well, you know, certain jokes aren't funny. Certain jokes are funny, okay? You just can't say them around certain people. There you go. Uh, because people get offended. So yeah, I totally understand that one. Disclaimers, like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? <laughs> That's how it goes down. Not just some guy just standing up there. There's Negroes in the pool. Do you approve of this? I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? <laughs> I'm just saying, can you just make the shit, like, believable? You know what the honest thing is? Those movies, they're starting to give me a complex. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? I know. No Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is, that, is he, is that fuck you? What is it? White dudes the only ones walking around. Why, you guys don't eat cows? <laughs> what are you, a bunch of fags? <laughs> well, then why are you wearing sandals? This guy's wearing sandals. This guy's a fag. Just saying, you know, just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples? You know? <laughs> you know, like... Some evil stuff that black people say 
when white people are not around. They smell like wet dogs, I think. Yeah, because they, they smell like wet dogs. Um, uh, what is it? Um, I just know it's really it's godly. Why did I draw a blank on that? I don't. I drew a blank. Wet dogs for the final answer. There you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're hanging out. You had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got headlights or something like that, right? Just. Yeah, that, there you go. Just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool. Wash your hair, motherfucker. Right? Just <laughs> make it seem a little more. Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. I mean, where the fuck do you go from there? We do like ping pong. <laughs> they were the first all black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the pad. <laughs> <Denzel Washington>. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's not playing ping pong. <laughs> you got to go out there and show the white man your band, ping pong. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not saying that. Uh, I don't know, it's always just weird bringing this shit up, but... No, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either, because I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. Mm -hmm. I do, I can, so I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious, man, I tried to suit on the other day, I felt it coming up, like, fuck, man, I want to take over some shit, right? <laughs> I want to start telling people what to do. I want to go pollute a lake, blaming on my secretary, you know? <laughs> Oh, he's too good, man. Dude, I don't even like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because there always has to be, like, some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> I hate those movies. I hate them. Um, I have a... I, I really do. Because... Because... I'm not saying it's never realistic, but it never happens... It never happens the way that the way that it is in a movie and everything else it, it, it for me it has it, it hasn't okay like I, I i have so like when i lived in hawaii and stuff like that i i try to tell everybody hawaii is made up of hawaiians asians military okay that is hawaii all right you 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 kind of fit somewhere up in there. Either your parents came over, they never left, or they're Asian, or or you always lived there. Hawaiian, basically. Hawaiian, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Polynesian Islands, basically, uh, in Hawaii. And what I would say is, like, because I, I, I had a whole bunch of um, Navy guy friends and everything else, they all come from these small behind cities and everything else, and they will have so limited a view on the world until they got, till they left, until they left the place that they were. Like when you, when you're around a whole bunch of people that look like this, and you have not encountered somebody that looked like this or a or a form of this, sometimes, sometimes you have really preconceived notions and everything else. So like. You'll have like a couple country boys that never that never been around anything, never said anything, and they don't know a lot of the things that they did was socially unacceptable until until like until like we became friends, and then I'll be like, "Hey yo, man, nah, that ain't good," or like, and they'll be like, "Oh man, I never, you know, that's I'm sorry, that's how we used to joke over there." So I, so it's always subtle. It's never like, man, thank God Shay is here to teach teach this ignorant this ignorant like white boy what what needs to happen isn't it was never like that it was just like man no no appreciate it thank you thank you uh good looking um uh i appreciate it darling it was more or less like that it was never like well you know this was a teachable white person moment and I'm going to put it on my wall of white people moments that I teach, taught them. It was more or less like, oh yeah, you know what? Everybody has some differences. Everybody has a different background, a different culture. And like, 
and like right when you like insert some of your culture into them play it back in slow motion please like insert some of your culture into them giggity phrasing and it'll help it helps mold people you know what i'm saying multiculturals help mold the culture you know what i'm saying so i just don't ever like it because it's always it's always those movies always just rub me the wrong way it's like that never happens you know Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he, like, tried to, like, teach me how to dance, you know? <laughs> you know, that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? And I never go to his neighborhood and, like, try to, like, save a school, you know? <laughs> how many times are they gonna make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects. They just have to make a difference. <laughs> you know, they just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hilary Swank? It's like, did you even need to go see it? <laughs> it's like, let me guess. She shows up and they don't accept her, right? <laughs> and she goes home, she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? <laughs> and he convinces her, he convinces her to give it one more chance, right? Yep. So then she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking dancing. <laughs> and it's just embarrassing. For all races involved, for the love of God, stop making that fucking movie. Dude, the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit. You know? Yeah, exactly. yeah that's Mike. Yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does. You know? I sit around, I watch Sports Center. You know, he's in the projects every weekend. He's writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? Who threw that? It's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? You go down there, you try to do something nice, I couldn't get a goddamn word in. It's a three and all prescription. <laughs> You know this? Oh God! And that was Bill Burr. What? Yeah. Links. Uh, uh, I would say links for the original creator will be down below. Uh, but go go support the original artist. Uh, Bill Burr. Amazing, talented. Just. <laughs> and you don't understand how many how how many movies are like that. I, I remember it was like save the last dance. She wanted to be a ballerina and stuff like that and go out to Juilliard and the black guy helped her and I don't know, his magical member helped her through her triumphs and then she could dance for Juilliard. Um the scuba diver one, of course. I think they did one for a chess team. And I'm just like, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I'm black and I get it and I'm tired of seeing the movie. Um, so at least, uh, so, uh, can we get this to at least, at least, um, 200 likes? Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. Put all of your requests down below. I, uh, we do, we do so much stuff on this channel. I know you say, Shay, is, you just started like two days ago. It doesn't matter. Now I sound like The Rock. But again, uh, put all requests down below. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, so long. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. If you gon' spin out them close to me, uh. Bring out the can, would you post me, uh. What would you do to get close to me, uh. I blow the flowers, that's perfect. I hit it once in his buddy. I hit that ass in the back of the Chevy. Bust up a back, she let me. Then blow the gas, like we at the Getty. She like, you gotta